What is up YouTube, she's right here, and I have a new jailbreak for you guys. So, if you have been patient and have been on iOS 10 or iOS 10 through iOS 10.3.2, you guys are in for a treat because I do have a semi jailbreak for you guys. So, this is a jailbreak alternative, but it's not one of those jailbreak alternatives that you download through Safari and get. Uh, all these cheap apps like the plus plus apps no this is one that you can actually install themes um customize your device and all these stuff so it's got houdini if we open it up it looks just like this and it's just a new beta jailbreak for you guys well semi beta jailbreak for you guys who want a jailbreak so yeah so um you do need a computer to install it so uh let's head over to my computer show you how to install this and show you how to set it up so yeah. All right guys, so we're right here on my computer. All you wanna do is go to the description down below. You'll see a link to this website right here. It's called Houdini. This is the jailbreak application that I just showed you guys. So it says, no, this is not meant to be a jailbreak replacement, nor it's a full jailbreak. It will never be. Although it is safe to use, I'm not responsible for any mess up. So also future might not work in a bit. Yeah, so it works for all 64-bit devices on iOS 10 all the way to iOS 10.3.2, not iOS 10.3.3. Make sure if your device is iOS 10.3.3, do not do this, guys. So if you, if you keep scrolling down, down below, you have instructions on how to install this. I'm gonna show you, but here it is in the bottom. Uh, we have download the IP file, download uh, CD Impactor, uh, and do all that. So. Once you download the application, it'll look just like this. Um, it should look different because I do have an extra application that configured it. But uh, make sure, guys, to as well uh, back up your device because you never know. As he said, he's not responsible if your phone messes up. Messes up to the point that you just have to restore. So please back up your device so you won't have to lose all your precious memory and data. So once that is done, open up Sydney Impactor. Should look just like this. And all you want to do is just drag it and just type in your Apple ID and password. So let me do that. All right, so once you put in your Apple ID and password, just click on OK. And as you can see, we just get all these little uh, notifications stuff. Just let it do its thing. And I'll be back once fully uh, downloaded. Oh, OK, never mind. So it just finished downloading. So you should have a little icon on your device so let me switch back into the camera so you guys can see all right guys so it's already it's on my device as you can see here it is but before we do that you want to go to settings we want to go to general you want to go all the way to the bottom to profile and device management and find your email um and verify it right there or the email that you use to uh, install this application so once you verify it you want to open it up and it should look like this. It should tell you your version number. Make sure you're on iOS 10 all the way to iOS 10.3.2. It does not work on 10.3.3. So yeah. So um, all you want to do is click on start and see post exploitation. So we have like basic jailbreak commands. Um, I hope this doesn't break my device because I am jailbroken with the uh, uh, Yalu jailbreak. So I don't know if it's going like. I don't know interfere with that but I hope not hope it just installs it perfectly right now I'm unjo broken so I'll show you that in a little bit but uh, let's let this done uh, do whatever it has to do it should take a few a few seconds and from it sometimes it doesn't work the first time but this is more stable when it comes to installing compared to Yalu, you know how it's just like so ignorant, just have to click on installing and reboots. And this one doesn't. It's like first time me doing this. So hope it does what it says it does. So it's fe fetching packages. I just noticed that. So there are packages you can have repositories and all that stuff. And depending on internet speeds, trust me, my internet speeds are horrible. So this might take a little while. So once it's done, I'll be back with you guys so yeah all right guys so th there it is this is how it should look it should take way faster compared uh to me i had i had to switch to lte so here is it here it is we have clean system we have respring so we have sources on the bottom we got more sources um i'm not sure but okay so i think Maybe in the future updates, you can probably add the big boss repo, which is like the main uh, jailbreak repo. But we have packages, 
uh, utility. We have utility. We have screen resolution. You can change your screen resolution display. Uh, three icon renamer, Pascal customizer, icon badges, colorize your icon badges. So as you can see, they're red. I'm not jailbroken or anything like that. Just using the Houdini app. So there it is. Uh, icon badges, uh, icon size, other color. Oh, I don't know these. All right, so this is all. Sorry, Charles, I put blue in hexadecimal value. So all you want to do is just copy that because this is the badges, so you can change the colors and just paste that. Remove that extra little right there and apply and respring. So let's see if it does what it says it does. And I hope this really works because this is more stable compared to the Yalu jailbreak. Oh my god, it actually worked. Oh, that is amazing. Sorry for the back video quality, guys. My camera just broke down. I'm getting a new one by tomorrow. But, oh my god, it actually worked. You can actually change the colors. Oh my god, this is awesome. Especially for my friends who are like, Oh, I don't want a jailbreak because this can happen. It's like, no, it doesn't happen. But... There it is, guys. Um, a working jailbreak for you guys. So I'm going to show one more thing so you guys can see. Oh, this is awesome. This is like a actually working jailbreak. And by the way, if you guys trying to install themes, some themes are broken, some themes are not. But as you can see, you can change your badges. You can do a lot of stuff. And as time will go on, there's more things you can add to it. So, guys, um, this is just... An amazing thing that Houdini okay so as you can see this is the fill message for the Houdini application so okay guys weird thing the actual things that you apply with this jailbreak will apply after you reboot your device so anything you do with this jailbreak it will apply it after you reboot it. So I just rebooted my device, fully rebooted and all that, and I still have the blue icon. So very surprising for me, like really. If just if they can just implement the exploits and all the code that this developer used into a working jailbreak for at least still iOS 10, I think that would be amazing. I think that will just improve the stability of the jailbreak when it comes to iOS 10 because the iOS 10 jailbreak just is horrible. It's really horrible. It's very um, buggy and it's not, it's not stable. So as you can see, we reboot our device and it's doing the post exploitation. So it's working. It's doing Sting. It's fetching packages. All right. So let's do the custom passcode. Um, you can get the original, which is stock. iOS 11, we get the iOS 11 passcode, or we have custom. What's custom? Oh, we can have pictures. Okay, let's add uh, just a simple picture. So that's the flash and apply. And it's theming, respring. So remember, guys, whatever you do with this jailbreak, it stays. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, guys, but as you can see, there's a the flash symbol right here. Uh, it's just because of the wallpaper, but as you can see, there's flash symbols all over my buttons. And if we go to my home screen, uh, my lock screen, I mean, as you can see, it's that. But if we go to, let's see, let me use a different finger. As you can see, they're just all flashes. So that's that's pretty awesome, guys. So that's the semi Joe break for you guys. Alright guys, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, be part of the notification squad. Uh, let's chase around here, see you in the next one. Peace.